Hey Cancers, welcome back to the Cancerian Vibe. It is your girl, the Boss Lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, a very special welcome to you, boo. I hope you hit that subscribe button and join me here more often because I would love to have you here, my fellow Cancerian. Um, yes, I take care of and cater to the Cancer over here on the Cancerian Vibe. So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get all the Cancer readings that you need, boo. Okay. Um, I do still take care of my cancers over on my main tarot channel, um, Boss Lady B Tarot, where I also take care of all the other signs. And you guys, I do actually um, recommend like watching for all your placements so you can get like a full picture, a full message. So <clears throat> yeah, check me out over there. I will drop the channel in the eye somewhere. Hopefully I remember. Um, but you know what I'm here to do. I'm going to hop right to it. We're here for the weekly weekly reading um april 4th through the 10th y'all it's april it's april already <laughs> april 4th through the 10th good night y'all so i'm gonna put an overall energy um oh y'all already off the bat i feel like something about uh relationship and change about to come up but we'll see um i'm gonna put the overall energy from the energy oracle deck and clarified by the numerology deck okay guys because y'all like to hear i guess what the decks are um and i also link them um in my link tree you can also find if you're like interested in um the decks that i use i put them all on my amazon storefront so that way i actually went through and like um found the cheaper version like if it's able to be ordered on amazon um, and put it on my storefront. Um, yes, I do get a commission if you uh, purchase the deck. But, you know, hey, that's a win for both of us. You were going to buy it anyway. So, I might as well get like a penny. Because that's literally all I'm going to get. But, um, at least, you know, you know that it's the right deck. Because um, there be some scammers out here. So, beware. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, Cancer. So, yeah, you can find that link on my link tree. Um, you can tap in. Tap in below in my description, my description box. Y'all, I keep seeing 222. That's crazy because I know it came up in the last reading. I keep catching 222. It's been haunting me today. I got a text message from 2222. Like, two, yeah. Yep. That's crazy. But anywho, um, yeah, Cancer, check out that link on my link tree if you're interested. But we're going to hop right to it. I done spent a whole, I'm sorry, y'all. I'll be just rambling. We're going to hop right to the reading. Um, I might time stamp it. But let's see what comes up for my cancers. Thank you so much, Spirit. Ooh, I, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? I didn't know it. Y'all, okay, so a woman holding a heart came out, and I feel like this is you, Cancer. I feel like this is you, Cancer, and this is the number 44 card. That's funny, but look what's at the bottom of the deck, Karen Connection. So, look, somebody is trying, and it's, I feel like somebody's coming in to pursue you, Cancer. Somebody's coming in to pursue you, but you either need to put your heart on your sleeve or you have your heart on your sleeve ready to give it to somebody. Um, but yeah, see, I told y'all, I already felt it, that it was going to come up about a relationship. Look, I wasn't trying to make it a love read, you know, whatever. We're going to see what else comes out. But yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm seeing. So let's clarify it with the numerology deck. Tell me about this woman holding a heart for cancer. Y'all. <laughs> I can't make it up. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, y'all. Two, four, six. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, so yeah, but we got, look, we got time out here at the bottom of the day. You guys, I feel like um, you've been taking a time out. Somebody has been taking a time out. I feel like this is that super single cancer. Shout out to us. Um, that's been taking the time out from dating and kind of focusing on other things. I feel like this is where this um, energy is coming from here, Cancer. Um, you know, for some of you, you may have been like diving deeper into your spirituality as well. Um, <laughs> but this, look, this Karen Connections card, it's the number 14. Four and one is five, y'all. I told you it's 
I feel like there's a change in a relationship here. Um, and look, after that, under that, we got rest and rejuvenation. So yeah, somebody was resting up and getting ready. Somebody's resting up and getting ready for this love here. And it may be you can't or maybe the other person. Um, but look, <laughs> I cannot make it up. Let's see. We got the deck card here at the bottom of the deck. So definitely a change, a transformation happening for my cancers. And um, I feel like cancer, hopefully um, this healing, you've been working on this self-love and this healing with the star card popping out. Um, but I feel like this also, this star card is popping out. Um to show a healing in your like situation like when when you're <laughs> look at that super single cancer when you're um <laughs> y'all funny excuse me let's see y'all oh i'm sorry so you see how the tower just came out y'all came out so the tower is out here um <clears throat> can't stop. i feel like there were some lessons that you learned here in love with the world card coming here at the bottom of the deck but i also feel like this is you this is why you took a time out this is that cycle that real rough cycle that's complete in here for you um this tower came in and shook things up and you're changing things are changing for you your surroundings are changing your your Physical, like your actual surroundings are changing. The people that you're around. Well, I just caught my birthday. Shout out to people that are born on June the 30th. The best cancers out there. Um, still love your cancers, but if your birthday ain't June the 30th, I mean, I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, yeah, cancer. But I definitely feel like um, there's definitely there's definitely a closing out of this rough cycle with this tower here. It came. This I feel like this tower moment has already happened, especially with it coming out first. Um, I kind of feel like this, you're about to be recovering from this. You know, some things got to get knocked down so you can start building back all over again. You know, build back and build up better. Yeah, because we got the Ten of Swords came, coming out. That came out. So, definitely, I feel like you put it into something here, Cancer. You put it into something or something. There's definitely something with some change here. With the Five of Wands, um... I feel like there may have been like a, a situation that there was conflict in and maybe it caused a separation between somebody, but there's actually love here. Y'all may actually have a, a family together. Um, but yeah, let's see. Okay. <laughs> we got the nine of pentacles. So no cancer. I feel like, um, this 10 of swords came after this tower. Um, this ten of swords came after this tower to show you that, um, yeah, there were some there were some things that ended. Like this tower came in and shook things, and it may have made it really really dark here for you. Um, but it's like you're still here. You're still here. You didn't survive. You're okay. Yeah, it may still be a little dark, um, but I feel like the storm is clearing for you, Cancer. Um, and that's why you come out. You come out on the other side. Like you come out. Look at you, bright your coins together like you you come out in the nine of pentacles after this this tower um situation and i feel like you know somebody may be watching you cancer somebody may be admiring you somebody may be admiring you like they want to um they want to make a uh they want to move forward they want to make a move on cancer i feel like here <laughs> let's see give me messages for cancer Y'all, I really didn't look at here. I really didn't. I really didn't want this to be a love reading. But oh my gosh, y'all. So look, this King of Wands may just decide to pop the heck up now with it falling up under the um tower card to offer you this new beginning in love here with the Ace of Cups. Um, yeah. For some of you and when I see justice here. For somebody, I feel like they're taking it to the next level, like um, judgment, like uh, marriage, like, you know, adjudication here. But I definitely feel like this King of Wands, like, if, you, if you're not already dealing with your fire sign, um, then they kind of come out of nowhere, almost. Like, I'm getting come out of nowhere. So, like, be open. Like, wear your heart on your sleeve. That's what I'm hearing. Wear your heart on your sleeve, Cancer. Give me messages for cancer. Ooh. Give me messages for cancer. 
see because yeah i had to tell you that wear your heart on your sleeve keep your heart open cancer because it's four of cups coming out because i feel like cancer you know you might and it <clears throat> it may not be purposely that you're um missing this cup that somebody's trying to hand you it may not be purposely because i feel like you might be here with the magician here at the bottom of the deck you're too busy trying to like go to the next level like you have in your mind how things look for you cancer with this magician card and you're trying to make that happen and so you like you're you're focused you're trying to turn your these three cups you're trying to multiply your cups um and somebody's coming in with another one trying to give you some look it's like by any means necessary you are trying to um to make it happen here and also cancer <clears throat> know that you have everything that you need. Somebody needed to hear that. Um, you have everything that you need. If you feel like you've fallen down, um, you have everything that you need to get up. Give me a uh, messages for cancer. Yeah, look at that. This Knight of Wands coming towards um, single cancer here. <laughs> Um, and I feel like they're trying to come in with a steady offer with this Ace of Pentacles, but you might be, you might be against it here. Y'all, look at this. Y'all, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so they're trying to come in, Cancer, but here you are, like, mm, mm And they're trying to come in and communicate with this Ace of Swords here and give you this cup. But see, you, you're needing to open up here, Cancer. Um, And also, because this moon just stuck out to me here on this Two of Swords, trust your intuition about this person. Like, if you feel good about it, it like, trust yourself. It's okay. Um, Because I feel like somebody may have been burned in a situation. And also, I know that came out in the last reading. There's something in the past that's needing to that needed to end. I feel like, or you may have taken a timeout. There's something, because with this timeout card... um being number 37 10 it's a completion we got the ten of swords here there's something that's completed definitely that's completed but there's something new to begin with it here um can't say tell me about this um yeah this uh <laughs> there's there's going to be some type of um i feel like romantic gesture that's going to come in for cancer from this from this uh, King of Wands, but tell me about the tower for Cancer. Tell me about the tower. So yeah, okay. Oh, Temperance came out. So look, I feel like this is you, Cancer. Um, you had to come back to your feet, come back, get back on your feet. You things. This tower moment came to give you a, a different kind of footing here with the temperance card. It moved you. It's moving you in a different directions. And, and things may have been rocky here. Because that tower came. It was a heck of a storm, okay? Um, but I do see you moving into a better situation here. Because you've been, look, you've been focusing on your work here. And I feel like something that, you know, that you started working on um, is about to take off here as well like something that you may have been putting some extra time like it may have started off small for you but i i feel like there's something yeah that slowly but surely because we got the page then we got the night so i feel like it's something that's slowly but surely taking um flight here for you can't say oh yeah <clears throat> excuse me tell me about this four of cups for cancer why can't say i tuned up where am i i feel like something flipped over so the seven of swords um tried to show itself y'all so i feel like you may not trust like you you may be afraid to trust this here um with the seven of swords but remember um it did show that there was yeah because i feel like you're conflicted about it too we got this five of wands that's coming out um Tr trust your intuition about this this person in this relationship if it feels right i feel like hmm, go for it because i feel like hey whoever this king of wands or this yeah this king of wands is ain't gonna stop i, I feel like they ain't not gonna let up they coming in with the um with the passion like <laughs> sorry y'all let's see um I actually want to clarify this four of cups with this deck. So 
Tell me about the Four of Cups for Cancer. So yeah, okay, so we got the anchor that came out. Um, yeah, see, Cancer, you're you're concerned if this is true, if this is reliable. Um, it's permanent. It's, I'm sorry, it says permanence, accomplishment, reliable, stable, secure, routine. I feel like you're um you're questioning its permanence and its reliability here. Like you're at a crossroads considering this. And look at that, y'all. 22. You're at a it's um you're at a crossroads, cancer. It says choice, decision, alternatives, offer, opportunity, and separation. See, for somebody, I feel like this is gonna be a reconciliation. Like y'all are separated. Like you, put, somebody put it into it, but I feel like there was there's so many feelings in it that it's gonna come back around because I feel like there's <clears throat> like it's um meant to be kind of like divine. Um, so yeah, and I definitely see somebody moving into a different situation as far as with their money here. There may be an opportunity or some type of offer that comes to you that, you know, cancer, look, turns that money here. But yeah, there was definitely, look, the coffin and the death card was at the bottom of the deck before we shuffled. So major change. That's what it says. Major ending, major endings, um, timely change, illness. So, Cancer, I feel like things are definitely changing and there's um, some healing that has been taking pl place as well. But I'm going to wrap up the reading. I'm going to try not to keep it too long. And just um, look at that. I look, Wow. I love that these two cards came out. I wasn't ready. Um, I'm going to pull one more because I wanted to get a good shuffle. Um, but, yeah, Bearing Fruit and Smoke and Mirrors um, came out. Okay, so I feel like you're about to start bearing fruit. Your um, initiatives are about to start taking bloom here with this bearing fruit. You may not see it here. You may not see it. Things aren't what they seem. And also things aren't what they seem with this person. Like you're you're thinking that this can't be long term, but I feel like it is this is a this is with this anger, I feel like there's like long term commitment here in this connection. Um so pay attention, like listen to your intuition. And, you know, don't <clears throat> depend on just how things seem or just how things look. But I'm going to pull just one to close the reading and um, read the message for you guys. Let's see. Give me one for Cancer for this spread for April 4th through the 10th. Ooh, Cancer. Yes. So we got a powerful move that came out. I feel like you're making power moves here. Okay, Cancer, making them power moves, like check. Okay, but I also feel like somebody's making a move um, towards you here, Cancer. Um, look, and I see like the world in this, like you got the key, Cancer. Things are, look, things are on the up and up, Cancer. Like I feel the energy is um, really, really good here. I'm gonna read if I can get the, I wasn't prepared, clearly. I was trying not to make it too long. If y'all don't mind me reading the message. Um, so yeah, the powerful move. I just really love that. Um, the key um, key concepts are action, movement with purpose, effort, putting into motion your intention, making choices from an empowered and thoughtful place, positive change. So look. The change that's happening, Cancer, just keep in mind that it's positive, okay? Um, <laughs> I love this. I'm so excited, y'all. Look, we had that rest and rejuvenation. Uh, the time for rest is over, okay? We did have that little bit of time where things were kind of stagnant, Cancer. No more. <laughs> Time's out for that, okay? Uh, <laughs> change is in the air. This is a powerful time when deliberate action is needed to move your intentions out of the realm of thought and into the material. And that's what you were focused on, Cancer, when that magician came out. That's what you're focused on. Um, how do you approach how do you approach your relationship to the invisible world as it influences the visible? Do you see the relationship? Do you reconcile recognize yourself as a unique whole and worthy being? who has a special place in the world, whose offerings are valuable, and whose life has meaning. I hope you do. I hope you do, Cancer. You better. You are a mighty 
co-creator, okay? So step, so step cancer into that power and see your intentions manifest into this in the, in the real world, in the world cancer, okay? Real positive change is possible when you make choices from an authentic sense of self, okay? Authentic, that's a key word here, authentic sense of self and take a conscious step towards your dreams. To take steps towards your intended experience, start first with the way you think. Let curiosity be the focus now and display a willingness to discover new things instead of confirming your past expectations. Be open, be clear about your motives and desires and set your intention. Then step into the magic, just waiting for you to claim it. Traveling, moving, flowing, flying, whatever describes the changes in your life, know that these are called for now, okay? Act with thoughtfulness and awareness and remember to be true to yourself. What is called for now is doing the thing that needs to be done. All will be better than well. What an exciting time indeed. I'm so excited for you, Cancer. It's a really, really exciting time for Cancer. A lot. Know that all the change that is happening, Cancer, it's happening and it's all working together for your good. It's making, it's, look, you are a co-creator. You and Spirit are making power moves out here, okay? You got the key, baby. I am so excited for you, Cancer. Look, and we got body and soul here at the bottom of the deck. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, I'm going to wrap it up though, but body and soul, I hope that you are taking care of yourself, practicing self-care here, but this is the number five card. So I keep seeing um, a five as things are changing, because this can be a lot for cancer. You know, change is a lot for cancer. Um, so make sure that you are taking care of yourself during this change cancer, okay? Make sure that you are focusing on healing. You know, that's why that temperance card is here. Making sure that you keep your emotions balanced, because there's a lot changing okay make sure that you are taking care of yourself body mind body and soul keeping those thoughts positive cancer taking care of your body and feeding your soul good things okay things that are going to make your soul grow and elevate um look i'm so excited for you cancer i'm sorry i didn't took so long but i just had to let y'all know that this was a good look it just keeps getting better and better for cancer the best has yet to come look at that I'm so excited for us, Cancer. Um, I'm going to leave it right here. Catch me in the meantime and in between time. Oh, yeah, you guys. Um, over on my other channel, hopefully um, you may or may not have known. Um, I did just introduce where um, I hop on live where you guys can see me and we can interact and I pull some cards. Um, if you have a question, like uh, I'll pull one card for you for a dollar and 11 cents. Um, but I'm actually gonna move that to my members only. So I'll be opening it up to non-members when I do lives, but um, their questions will be $11 and 11 cents. Um, but members readings will be live and a dollar and 11 cents. And members get access to um, exclusive content, you guys. So yeah, check me out over on my other channel. I'll be coming soon to explain all that good stuff. But yeah, Cancer, enjoy the week. Catch me in the meantime, in the between time. Love ya.